Well, hello, and welcome back to the next segment of Craftopia 2022. The Summer of Craft Takeovers. In today's uh, quick video, I am going to do a few little things that I've never done before. I got this shelf at the Dollar Tree. I found mine over by like where they keep the oasis, you know, the flowers and the vases and things like that. So that's where this was. Kind of cute. Nothing too extraordinary. Very basic. Uh, my daughter also got a few as she was redoing her uh, guest room. So she got a few to uh, kind of jazz up that space. I don't know if I'm super crazy about the, the jute, the twine or not. Maybe I am. I don't know yet because right now everything's pretty blasé. It hangs with that uh, ring that you just saw there. And if it looks like I'm talking to myself in the video, I kind of am. <laughs> I had recorded with my voice, but the air conditioner was so loud. Not even funny. So the first thing I want to do is, of course, take those uh, jute strings off of there. But then I thought, hmm, what can I do with this? So I went through my, this is what I originally thought I was going to stencil something on here. I thought that would be really cute. I got these cute little hearts. Look at these stencils. I've never even used some of these. So that's what my idea was. That, you know, could be like a brickwork kind of thing. I don't know, I thought it was really cute. That's what I was originally going to do. Then I found these. These are Heidi Swap, I believe, masks. I've never used a mask before. Yep, there it is, Heidi Swap. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got these at like a yard sale or in Colorado, I got, I probably got it at that uh, craft thrift store that I used to visit a lot. Uh, because otherwise, I don't know if I ever would have really bought it. But I've never used one before. I thought, well, you know what? That's what we're doing here. We're trying new things. So I'm going to take off the jute, paint, and then work on those masks. That's what we're doing today. There you can see I gave it a white undercoat, just a very basic one coat. It doesn't need to be perfect because I, I will be, you know, painting over it. But uh, it just gives me a nice smooth something another there. And there you can see, yes, yeah, just your basic white acrylic. And the fun part, I'm gonna mess with these masks to see where I want them. They're a tiny, tiny bit sticky on the back. Not so much that it would lift the paint, of course, but enough to hold them into place. So for the next few seconds here, I will be positioning my masks. I have no idea what kind of flowers these are. Not a clue. But I'm just kind of arranging this so that it looks sort of pleasing to my eye. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I have a uh, kind of a medium shade of gray here and that's what I'm going to uh, pounce over the masks. 
and I have a what I usually do for that I, I thought pouncing would be better than painting I just didn't think that painting would be the proper technique I use these little makeup sponges from also from Dollar Tree you get a whole pack of them for you know a buck a buck 25 and they work really well for just a lot of craft uh, items so that's what I'm using here and I'm just pouncing 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 and then look I cannot help myself I just have to see what it looks like oh no never mind Kim don't do it oh look see what I did don't do it <sighs> all right here we go I've got it on there it may look a little modeled again I don't mind I like that look I think it's cute so far and I can't wait to tear those masks off of there. Oh, here we go. Get your popcorn. Here it comes. So satisfying. Oh, I wish I would have moved my hand. Look! Love it. And you know, if you like it that way, keep it that way. You know? Me, I'm going to add a little bit, just a little bit of something, something on it. Just to give it a little, little pop of color. So for the next few minutes here, you will see me just painting... Uh, a couple of shades of like a turquoisey blue, some green for the leaves, just to, you know, like I said, have it pop just a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a painter. You know, some people can like paint scenes, landscapes. I cannot. Cannot. So I'm just doing whatever feels right and fun. That's what you should do. You don't need to know how to paint. Again, I have no idea what kind of flowers these are. I uh, just know that these colors look pretty pleasing to me, so that's what I'm using. If you don't have one of these shells, Try this technique on something else. Maybe you just have a regular wooden shelf that you thought, oh, this is, this needs jazzed up. I'll put it in the closet so I can figure out something to do with it. Well, use a stencil on it. Use a mask on it. Just paint on it. Oh, here I'm just adding some yellow just to make it, you know, kind of pop some more. Because again, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I never claimed I was an expert in this. I'm just showing you that it's okay to have fun. And you, you know the end result? It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Looky, looky! I think it's pretty cute. I do end up touching up uh, around the holes there a little bit and touching up the edges uh, before I go back and uh, rehang it. There, it's all dry. I put a little bit of tape on the edge 
or on the end, excuse me, of the, uh, the jute there, I do end up reusing that jute. That was just my personal choice. If you've got something else that would look super cute, switch it out. I still might switch it out. We'll see. This was my next choice. I've got this really pretty gray ribbon that I thought, oh, that might work. I don't know. But anyway, ta-da! Here it is in my spare room with all my other little fun stops. These shells are not made to hold the weight of the world. They're just for fun. But look how cute they are. So are you guys going to go and try your hand at painting? I think you should. Just wait till tomorrow. What are we going to do tomorrow, I wonder? Hmm. We'll find out. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye for now.